guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Traska, for those of you that don't know me. Today I'm going to be doing a Finding Dory um, makeup look. I drew this last night and we're going to see what I can do. Um, hopefully I can replicate this on my face. We'll find out. I'm going to be using um, a set of brushes from Vanity Planet. I've worked with them before and they were kind enough to send me out this 15 piece brush set. I'm going to be using practically every single one of these on my face today so you'll kind of get to see how I choose to use them. I've been using them for about a week or two now. They are synthetic so they're 100% vegan, um, each one of these. And I like that the big brushes have these little covers so you don't get, you know, if they aren't completely clean you also don't get it all over the rest of the bag and the brushes. And this thing normally retails for $100 but they uh, gave me a 70% off code which you guys can find in the description below so you can get 15 brushes for $30 which is like $2 a brush. So uh, let's get to it. First, prime your face. I'm using a Makeup Forever mattifying primer. Next, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream and the Flat Top Stippling Brush to apply a thin layer of foundation to my face. This is one of my favorite foundations ever. It's super lightweight but also has great coverage. I'm going to top this off with some powder that I almost just threw in my face. I'm going to do this with a super soft kabuki brush. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush from Tarte and Too Faced respectively. And let's not forget to highlight with a little bit of Benefits High Beam. Now I'm going to start doing the outline of the fish. I'm using a black Tarte eyeliner. As you can tell, the lines are not super straight. I wouldn't worry about it at this point because you're going to go back over it later after you've colored everything in. This is kind of just working as a stencil. So now that I have my stencil completed, I'm going to go through and fill in all of the sections with the respective colors. Right now I'm working with a dark blue from an Anastasia palette. I'm going to also be using colors from the Urban Decay Electric palette, as well as the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. Next, I'm using a NYX liquid eyeliner in white, as well as using the same yellow from the Anastasia palette to go over the white. That way I have a little bit of a yellow uh, eyeliner without actually owning a yellow eyeliner, <laughs> which I didn't realize until I started filming. I'm going to outline that and then top it off with some mascara from Smashbox. Now I'm adding some lines on the top and down my cheeks so I can add a bit of what I'm going to refer to as the water. Using the light teal color from the ColourPop palette as well as the darker teal color from the electric palette, I'm going to shade to make some really pretty aqua colors and then top it off with some electric blue bubbles. And of course it's not complete without glitter. Now this next section takes a bit of patience. These are the scales. So I'm individually drawing each scale with that same Tarte eyeliner and then after that I'm going to go through and I'm going to cover it with the same light teal color from the Sugar Pop palette and I'm going to be very generous with this because I want it to be completely covered so that when I go back over with the purple and the pink colors as so, there's still teal shining through. I want it to look like actual scales so the colors are kind of blending into each other. So the purple covers about half of each scale and the pink is just on the very tip. Once you're finished with the scales, all that's left to do is add a bright fuchsia lip color and then you're done. And this is the final look! Thank you so much for watching my Finding Dory inspired makeup tutorial. If you want to see other makeup content, click here. And if you want to see some of my music videos, click here. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content and to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my other social channels to stay up to date with what I'm doing. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.